Your Excellency Governor Okoa, thank you very much for doing me the honor of sharing this historic occasion with you, the government and the people of Delta State. This is historic indeed because the seat of the civil service of any arm of government anywhere in the world is usually one of the major monuments enshrining not just the power but also the splendor of the authority of government. This imposing complex clearly meets this requirement. In due course, such buildings become historical monuments, and the commissioning of this secretariat is special in at least two different ways. First, the civil service and the people of Delta are today being presented with a state-of-the-art functional and befitting secretariat complex after many years. This in itself is worthy of great celebration, and I shall return to that presently. But the other is that the state is at the same time immortalizing the name of one of Delta State's and indeed Nigeria's most illustrious sons, His Royal Majesty Professor Chike Edozian, the Asagba of Asaba. Nigeria's oldest living professor in any discipline and an internationally renowned professor of medicine. But more importantly, an outstanding bridge builder and patriot. As Your Excellency confirms, His Majesty has played and continues to play an important role as a symbol of unity in this state. And that during his 30-year reign so far, the town of Asaba has changed dramatically, becoming the capital of the newly created Delta State in 1991, and has attracted people from far and wide that have come to seek their fortunes here. His traditional leadership has ensured that the growth and increasing diversity of Asaba has proceeded without tension and antagonism amongst all the people who live here. Your Excellency, I believe that naming this building after His Royal Majesty, you are not just celebrating a highly respected and deserving son of Delta State and Nigeria. You are also signaling the sort of excellence in public service that we wish to see incubated within this complex that is behind me. But perhaps more importantly, you are saying to a generation a generation that's not even old enough to be employed in, this, in the civil service today, that integrity, diligence, and service to community and country still pay. It is my hope that this place will, like the eminent personage after whom it is named, be a symbol of unity and distinction. For there is more for which His Excellency the Governor of Delta State deserves commendation despite dwindling revenue receipts and severe resource constraints across all levels of government in our country. You have been able to provide the funding for this project. Also, your recognition of the critical role of the public sector is notable. Whether we are talking about the need for more inter internally generated revenues and greater tax efficiency, to compensation for resource deficits, or the management of a public health crisis such as the pandemic, or even the drive for more internally generated revenue. It is the capacity of the public sector that is invariably at issue. Consequently, the civil service is the very tip of the spear of governance. Optimal public service delivery requires an efficient public service. Such a public service requires training, capacity building, but also workspaces that are well equipped, conducive, and inspirational. And we've heard already how inspired the public servants today are, and that they're even spending longer hours in office. This is very, very commendable indeed. Public servants require environments that bring out the best in them, and this Secretariat complex will provide such an environment. Let me conclude by congratulating again the Governor of Delta State, my dear brother, Senator Ifiani Okoa, 
on the completion of this very important project, which is yet another demonstration of what you have shown over the years, that with visionary leadership, a state government can do incredible things indeed. And this one is surely one that I'm sure will be one of your most worthwhile legacies. Well done indeed. God bless Delta State. God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Congratulations, everyone.